All right, it's back to school time with The Chair, the new Netflix dramedy series that is loaded with talent. Are you gonna be watching? At a major university, the first woman of color to become chair tries to meet the dizzying demands and high expectations of a failing English department. Sandra Oz stars in this along with Jay Duplass, Bob Balaban, Holland Taylor, and David Morse. And it's a quick binge with six episodes that are each 30 minutes long. Sandra Oh takes over being the chair of the English department, and she is the first woman of color to do so. She takes over the position from a mess of a professor who's played by Jay Duplass. Now, even though this is set up in a 30 minute format, it doesn't really play out like a sitcom. Each episode builds on the next so that there is a cohesive and progressive story that's being told. The overarching plot follows all kinds of turmoil that the English department is experiencing. There's the issue of an aging but tenured staff who are no longer relevant to their students, a young and talented professor who's fighting for tenure, and also a scandal that emerges from one of the popular professors. Sandra Oh's character struggles to deal with all of these, trying to maintain her friendships, which then becomes quite stressful to watch because we can see all of the pitfalls that are coming, but we can also understand her predicament, and we even get to feel sympathy for her. She tries to maintain a political balance by not upsetting anybody, but that obviously just can't be maintained. To complicate her life is her family situation with her adopted young daughter. A bunch of sly comedy comes from this angle, but also works to bring in a ton of heart. The daughter's interactions also work to soften certain characters and make them extremely sympathetic despite their hubris and flaws. Now the characters felt very real to me. There may be small portions here or there that are slightly exaggerated for effect, but on the whole the actors create characters that do ring true of people that we know or come in contact with. They stammer or are uncertain at times, make faux pas at all the wrong times, argue their points, and are also vulnerable when it's called for. There's a point where one interaction happens that is quite emotional, but the character needs to hold it together. The scene then jumps to the aftermath, and it's very real and appropriate, and the expression just felt natural, but also justified. Other times we watch our characters stand up for their values. Now, sometimes it's noble, and other times not so much. But each time this works to build climactic situations that drive emotion. The dialogue is quick and funny too, but it often has the sting of truth, which I think then makes it even more impactful and engaging. There's not just a string of one-liners, but instead it's made up of some smart dialogue that is full of social commentary. But there is one portion that I think is a little lacking in explanation, even though it's a major plot point. A teacher is recorded performing a pretty offensive action, but we're only shown a very small portion which is edited for a meme. What we see lacks context. Now it's still highly offensive, but I kept wanting to know what the full reason for why the act was done. And when the consequences have to be realized, the defense of the action takes a larger prominence than the context for why it was done in the first place. Now, I know all of this is done to create the drama and guide the narrative toward the outcome, but I still think it could have been accomplished with the same relevance and effect, but also with additional meaning that lets us know why someone acted the way they did. That's a really small nitpick for the show though. I found it to be really enjoyable as we not only follow the main storyline of Sandra Oh's character who's dealing with all of the struggles and drama of being department chair, but also the small side stories that help to round out the other characters. There's also a guest star towards the end of the season who brought some great dry humor. I thought the banner was good and even self-effacing, which then made it all the more funny. I think the show does a good job of addressing ageism and sexism, qualifications versus the status quo, and even political inner workings to save face even if they're not the just course of action. Family dynamics and the struggles that arise are also examined, and I think the show does a good job of illustrating character growth from many of our players. Now the show may feel a bit rushed because it's only six episodes, and they pack a lot into those in quick fashion. What it did feel like is that we saw a well-told story that contained a lot of urgency thanks to a conflict that's set up within the plot, but I do think that there is more that could have been told, especially with how some situations are left. I also think some of the characters had the opportunity to be showcased more than just in the small ways that they were. I'm also curious though where the show is headed from here. I had fun with it, especially in how real the characters felt, but given the original premise, I'm not sure what's next, if anything. I would have enjoyed another four or even eight episodes. Overall, The Chair has a funny and biting look at the struggles of a new leader in an embroiled department. Sandra O oh and Jay Duplass lead a wonderful cast that are able to bring genuine humor, conflict, and tension to the situations. 
While it was an enjoyable watch, I do think it went by a little too quickly and missed the opportunity to showcase more of the growing storylines of the characters. There's no sex, but some nudity, a lot of profanity, and not really any violence. I give the chair three and a half out of five couches. So did you have a favorite instructor? What was something that made them unique or great in what they did? I had this awesome band teacher who made the classes and then our performances just a blast to attend. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.